what is up guys welcome back to Joe's Reef in today's video I'm gonna be doing a three and a half week review on my uh, algae turf scrubber so it's been up and running for about three and a half weeks now and my tanks looking amazing I have the innovative marine 30 gallon long um, as you guys can see everything's looking good uh, I originally had a bunch of hair algae and everything in the aquarium and everything's all gone I'm just gonna switch the camera around and show you guys exactly what's going on here so I finally guys made an algae scrubber for my innovative marine 30 long as you can see here it fits right into the back all right so I'm gonna give this a try see how it's working guys I do have the my refugium here but I want to do the algae scrubber see how this is gonna work I uh, made it out of the black PVC uh, really sleek from the front, you can't even tell it's there. So I'm gonna give this a try, see how it works. Okay, so here's my in the back of my 30 gallon. Um, I don't have a sump, so I had to create an area for it in my return section. It's not actually in the water. I have the water level really low, so you can hopefully see that. But yeah, so we can do something for your. All right, everybody, so I've had the algae scrubber up and running for about a week now, and I'd have to say the hair algae is definitely receding, as you can see on the rocks. Definitely not as much as there was before, and this big guy definitely receding. I think within the next week it might be. All right, here's the algae scrubber eight days in. Looking good, it's looking full. So you know, I can't wait to see week two guys of this. Yep, pretty good. Week three of the algae scrubber growth, getting really thick. As you can see, pretty thick. Tank's looking great. Pretty much all the hair algae is gone. All right guys, here's the algae scrubber. I just took the light off so you guys can see that. But check out how thick this is. Very, very thick, so I'm gonna go ahead and scrub this to show you guys. Here we go, guys. I pulled it out so you guys can see this. I mean, pretty thick so far. I mean, most of it's kind of towards the uh, upper thirds half, and then the backside too. Definitely some growth on the back. So, I'm gonna give it a scrub here, clean, see how it looks. All right, so I got it scrubbed off uh, and give it a little bit of a rinse. So I'm gonna go and put this back on and let it keep growing. What is up guys? So here is my tank uh, three and a half weeks later. As we can see, all the hair algae is gone. Coral is looking great. Let's see, this was the rock with all the hair algae on it before. You can see completely gone. Sand is white. I am Clean this or anything in about two weeks. Uh, 
boots on the glass is very small, minimal. Maybe scr uh, scrub it about once a week. Well, thanks for watching the episode today, guys. Um, as of now, my review on the algae scrubber, I'm really liking it, and I definitely think it's a must for everybody's tank. Um, in the process of it, my Kato has basically stopped growing. I mean, so that's definitely taken over all the nutrients in my tank. And by the way, I do custom build these, so if anybody's interested in, in uh, getting one, especially like for me I, I have an innovative marine 30 gallon and I didn't really have a place to put it because I don't have a sump it's built in the back so I was able to build a custom one so if any of you guys other guys have maybe a tank that you need a custom one built go in and message me and maybe we get something going on that guys and I'll make you guys one and until next time see you guys later